All right, for our final story tonight, we try to take a look at the so-called face of God. A leading Israeli archaeology professor is claiming that a handful of small male figurines associated with horse statues dating to the 10th and 9th centuries BCE discovered in multiple sites from the ancient kingdom of Judah are in fact representations of the biblical Israelite god Yahweh. Hebrew University professor Yosef Garfinkel, head of the Institute of Archaeology at the Hebrew University, is joining us to discuss his theory. Thank you so much for being with us. Now, you have actually researched a number of sculptures that illustrate God, or so to speak, in ways essentially unknown to the world of archaeology. Can you tell us about this? What happens is that uh, in our excavation in 211, we discovered a small head made of clay, and we have no idea what it was. And then two years later, very similar heads, too, were found in the site of Mozart. Mozart is a site west of Jerusalem when they constructed a new road from Jerusalem to Tel Aviv. There was salvage excavation and a Judaite temple was found at Mozart. And in this temple, four figurines were found, two heads that we can see now, and also two horses. And so we have four figurines. This was the idea. But then we have another uh, item, and this is from the Moshe Dayan collection, now at the Israel Museum. There is a pottery vessel, a horseman sitting on a horse, and it has the same head. So we have today five heads, exactly the same style. All of them came from Judah. All of them dated to the 10th and the 9th century BC. Okay. Two of them came from a temple. One of them came from a palace in our site. So they are not domestic. Uh, artifacts are found in central places. So wait, now what, the question what is, is who the, is this? Yeah, yes. Well, so I was going to ask, you know, what are some of the external characteristics of the sculptures that you examine? Because you know, how do you know that they're gods, per se, and not and not necessarily, you know, just a figurine of a man or a horseman? It can be uh, children, toys, and there are all kind of uh, possibilities to identify uh, figurines. But these were not found in houses. And two of them came from a temple. So if you have a temple, this is something much more serious than just a, a, a toy. And the question, who is this figure that a horse, a man sitting on a horse? And in the biblical text, in a few times, you have the description of Yahweh as a horseman. And think about Elijah when it was taken up to heaven. There was God arrived with a chariot of uh, fire and horses of fire. And when Elijah went up, his uh, pupil uh, Elisha said, Avi, Avi, Rechev Israel uparashav. My father, my father, the horsemen of Israel. So we have this metaphor that God is presented in this period also as a horse, as a horseman. And I think that the most important thing is the context, because it was found inside temple. And another thing is that we don't have anything like this elsewhere in Judah or any other place in the ancient Near East. So it's something typical only to the kingdom of Judah. Well, as we know, you know, idol worship is, is forbidden in Judaism and really the Abrahamic faiths in general. So this shows a really unique lens into, into ancient, ancient history. Professor Garfinkel, thank you so much for, for shedding some light on this with us. Thank you.